Greetings of peace and love. My name is Ram Hotep. Um, doing a special segment today. Um, I have a special guest here with us. Um, we're doing something for the young people. Uh, we want to do something for the youth. Like a lot of times uh, we offer this high metaphysical knowledge and we, we attract a lot of mature people, be they young or old, we attract a lot of the mature crowd, but you know, um, a lot of people that have been conscious for a while and people that are seasoned in metaphysics, spirituality, the uh, new age uh, thing or whatever, and people that, you know, they, they pretty much know about their knowledge itself, their history, their, their, their ancestral history and things like that. But then you have a group of people out there that's kind of like skipped over and people kind of like forget about them. And that's like pretty much our young people or whatever. And um, this really hits home for me because like I became conscious at a very young age. Um, like I did a lot of things like in, in the uh, quote unquote streets at a very young age, but I even became conscious at a very young age. So uh, the, the whole knowledge yourself, uh, conscious movement thing for me like resonated at a very young age I think I was about 16 years old so for me growing up conscious and the plight of someone growing up conscious like really resonates with me and a lot of times people don't like really look at people that are um, growing up conscious or whatever like they don't put a lot of emphasis and focus on like what these people have to go through and the types of things that they have to go through I mean and conscious people I mean, young conscious people go through a lot. They go through a lot. I mean, it's stressful. Um, it can be stressful. I'm not. I mean, I'm not trying to focus all on the negative, but it can be stressful. Um, a lot of times, there's not a lot of people to talk to, and things like that. So it's easy to kind of just drift off and to kind of just blend in to what the uh, the world and people of the uh, your, your peers are doing, and things like that. And it's not to sound like religious with it, but it's just more like you know, just to kind of like keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you are more conscious, it's like a knowledge of self thing. So you are different. Uh, than the average person or whatever so we need to kind of like create more of a culture so that people that are born conscious won't feel like so weird and different and people will like you know like other cultures will respect the whole conscious culture it's not like we're trying to change other people's cultures I mean the conscious culture is just like a lane or whatever and there'll be like many other lanes or whatever so the conscious culture just needs to like it needs to kind of like pave out a more clear pathway or whatever so that's what we're doing today and um, we have Lay here. Um, she's a fellow light worker, uh, graduated, and um, just kind of, you know, been doing her thing for a while. We're going to kind of let her, I'm going to ask her a few questions and just kind of uh, let her talk about her plight as a young conscious female because that's even more important. I mean, it's one thing to be a conscious male, but then to be a young conscious female, that's like awesome. I mean, um, like, especially in this world and the way it is for like women, the way women are exploited and uh, it's just like really like the whole patriarchal thing and how it's really just dominating the media and things like that. It's just in general, it's just really hard to be a female or whatever to make it in a patriarchal world. But then to be a conscious female, that's a whole another um, aspect to the game or whatever. So we have a young conscious sister here. Um, so tell us, what is, what is your astrological sign? Let's start out with that. All right. Sun and Libra, Ascendant, Leo. Ascendant and Leo. Yes. Okay, cool. okay. So what's the Ascendant? So our audience will know, you know, kind of know, like, what's the Ascendant according to astrology? Okay, Ascendant is your rising sign. It was um, the sign that was rising in the East when you were born. Um, so I was born under the Leo constellation. And um, for those who are astrologically astute, you could tell by my physical appearance. Oh, cool. Right, right. You definitely got the lion. Segment lines look definitely so the Leo Ascendant thing popped up. That's cool. So as far as knowledge yourself, um, when did you come into your own as far as knowledge yourself? Um, let's just say how old were you then? We're not gonna have you reveal your age. You know, I know women don't like revealing their age, but how old were you then? Whatever. Um, <laughs> I would say since I was a young girl, I was aware, but conscious. Mm, it was peaking out around 22, manifested at 25, definitely. There was a click. Okay. So, like, let's clear this up, too. So, like, for a young female, like, considering yourself conscious, I mean, like, what does that mean to you? Like, when you call yourself conscious, I mean, do you call yourself conscious? Is that a term you put on yourself? Or? Um, yeah, that's a funny word. Yeah, yes and no. I don't like titles, labels, but, um... I do feel as though I'm a member of the conscious community, so I guess I do wear that name in some respect. But what do I think that is? Um, it's asking questions. It's questioning 
everything your even yourself your emotions your thoughts it's in a it's an awareness so to speak so would you say this was probably something that you always really had though essentially right like even before because a lot of times like we talk about being conscious but we think about it in the state when we kind of like maybe left religion alone and when we became more spiritual and left like organized religion alone but as far as questioning your definition of it it seems like you probably were always like that then like then you always question things for the most part yes um definitely i think that more so than anything when i say i was aware instead of conscious because i asked a lot of questions and when i wasn't satisfied with some of the questions sometimes i would just gloss it over or put it on the shelf or just accept it as is and keep moving yeah. so i ignored a lot mm -hmm. but i was always aware of it but still play the game right okay and then it just came to a point where you're like look this is me so i'm not hiding anymore i'm gonna yeah. be out with this and that happened uh in your mid-20s yes and um it was deeper than uh oh i'm <coughs> tired of it um I want to change it was it was truly just running from myself it wasn't I'm tired of this it was I'm tired of running from myself I'm ready to accept myself for who I am and do what it is that it is do what it's in what's in my heart to do right 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 okay so I guess it's been you know has it has it been a a rewarding journey absolutely um, definitely trial by fire, but um, on the other end of the fire is refined, precious metal. So bittersweet. So, like, what book or what person or what idea, what sparked it for you, though? Like, what? Like, I know for a lot of people it was like a book. For some people it was a person that they met and got acquainted with. But like, what did it for you? Like, what really was like? Okay, I'm gonna get on this path and really live this way and make this my way in life as far as you know being spiritual like what what did it for you it was a book and a person um the book was powernomics by dr claude c anderson definitely pick that up great read it's a good book yeah um the way i grew up and what i saw um i really like for instance television i never really thought that some of the things that were reflected on television were based on truth like I thought it was creative fiction and then um, growing up going to college um, expanding my horizon as far as the different types of people that I interacted with I realized wow this is real and then when I read that book it uh, it was a combination of my experience and what I've always felt and then um, by the end of the book it was like wow <laughs> it's, this is real <laughs> I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So, what got you into? Because like, Lay is very much into the astrological. Um, you want to call it doctrine or the astrological uh, way of life, or the spiritual system of astrology. And um, you know, we are a thirteenth sign astrology channel, so I want to kind of get into a little bit of astrological information um, from your point of view. So, what what really got you into that? Like, I mean. Was that something that was there even before the paranormics or? Absolutely. Um, astrology has always deeply resonated with me. And even when I was caught up on Western sun signs, um, it still resonated. And even though the Western modality wasn't always correct, it still, it was, it was too, it was too on. It was right. on way more than it was off. Right, right. And I didn't understand why people ignored it. Yeah, it's just because people just go off what they're taught when they're a little kid and what they've been taught or whatever. So it's, it's just like a religion or whatever. Like if you've been taught you're a burger or something, I mean, that's just what you believe you are. So you try to like fit into that mold, but that's not necessarily who you are or whatever. If you really study the other sign or whatever and really weigh it out, you might see that you maybe are a different sign. Like maybe you're not a burger or something. So that's just... And that, but that's even the thing <clears throat> with me. That's my personal experience. Um, according to Western astrology, I'm a Scorpio, and that resonated with me. Don't get me wrong, but the Leo thing, like I always felt, but I, the Leo, like I'm a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you even look like a Leo. It's like, come on, like, it's like, yeah, yeah. See, so 
there you have it, folks. I mean, it's not just me. I mean, there's a lot of other people out there that definitely resonate with their new signs. So, something that you uh, definitely want to get into. So, um, I kind of want to just go ahead and um, close this out. I mean, just to kind of ask you um, one other question or whatever. So, like, where are you now? Like, you started out with the paradigmics. You've always been into astrology. I guess, I guess, like, where are you now? Like, what's your spiritual system now? I mean, do you have a spiritual system? Is it more like how, how have you grown? I guess from that point to now. Um, spiritual system. I don't know if I can say I have one of those, but I do have a bit of acquired, a lot of acquired knowledge of self. Um, I do see myself as my own deity. And my mind is broad, so broad that today I can seem as though I commit myself to one idea, but if I find a better one tomorrow, I'm jumping on that. And if you have a problem with that, a lot of people consider that as instability of thought, um, that you can't hold on to something, but that, that in itself is an illusion. If you can't hold on to a person, why, would, why can you hold on to a thought? And that's so true. I mean, that's a Taoist principle, like the idea uh... Now, Dejing is like the oldest religion, and it's like you constantly go with the flow or whatever. So you constantly go with evolution, you constantly go with whatever's in at that time or whatever. And I know that sounds mutable and sounds like you say unstable, but at the end of the day, we're like we're still evolving, we're still discovering ourselves. So the religion today is not going to be the religion tomorrow, and that's just the way it is or whatever. So that's just smart. That's just smart. So I mean, it just shows that I mean, this is like an indigo child or whatever. So I mean, it just shows that like. Consciousness level for these youngsters is very, very high. So, I mean, y'all out there listening or whatever, I mean, <clears throat> it's never too early to become conscious. I mean, it's not something that, you know, you have to be like an old person or whatever, or, you know, so you already been through a bunch of stuff and been locked up, or you already done been through a whole bunch of men, and then now it's just time for you to kind of like switch it around or whatever. I mean, really, it's all about whether or not <clears throat> you can assimilate yourself into the matrix. And still make it in the matrix, but then at the same time, still keep your your identity or whatever. And like, like if you're gonna be conscious or whatever, like, like still keep that. You know what I'm saying? Intact or whatever. It's all about that. So you don't have to go through a traumatic situation to become conscious or whatever. So it's just about making consciousness more of a culture instead of like, you know, like a religion or whatever. So and the way that you do that is, like I say, you just carry yourself in a certain way and not really talk it, but just live it. And people will see an example. They'd be like, well, why do you dress like that? Why do you wear certain colors? And I, I, I like notice like certain days you wear certain colors. Or, why is your hair like that? Or why this? Why that? You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, just carry yourself in like a, a certain type of way and just be the part. And um, that'll definitely uh, get you, you know what I'm saying, like a niche in this world and help the uh, conscious thing blow up or whatever. So, not just that, and also have the idea or, or the concept that you are a student of life and that it's a continual learning process. Like, if I make it to 86, I'm still learning, like still evolving, still growing. It never stops. Even on the other side, it never stops. Never stops. Never stops. There you have it. So, um, how has? Let me ask you one other question. So, how has um, Saturn returned been for you so far? Oh boy. Um, great. Um, definitely, it has, and it's still going on. So I'm not acting as though it's past but it's been difficult but the best i know in three years from now i'm i'm going to see myself speaking to people telling them about how this was the best time of my life the best the best things have happened and are happening yeah. cool, cool, cool. well i'm gonna go ahead and shut this video down um just you know uh, a little switch up little change up you know different segment just to kind of uh, let the young people know that you do have a voice you know what i'm saying um you do have a channel we will have a, a lot of young people a lot of things for young people in general are coming with 13 science astrology in general um children's readings and things like that are coming so um, we have a whole children's department coming up like for the indigos and for crystal children and then even on down to the rainbow children and, uh, and the super psychic children all of them so um, stay tuned or whatever. I thank you all for watching our channel and until we meet again, I'll leave you all in peace and love.